How's it going guys, Real Rabbin here, back at it again with another video. Jeffrey Earnhardt is here. Um, we're at the 704 Games studio, so Jeffrey, say hello to everyone. How's everyone going? Yeah, introduce yourself, what's going on? Have uh, you ever played this game before? I have not played this game. This is uh, this should be interesting. I'm not a very big gamer. <laughs> uh, I spend most of my time watching uh, watching Hulu. They're my sponsor, so I gotta, I gotta watch Hulu, right? That's so, pretty, uh, yeah, yeah. I've actually but, gotten a Hulu subscription yeah, lately, so yeah, I've actually been watching. They have one yeah. of my favorite shows. Really? Yeah, basically. They have, I, I'm embarrassed to say this, but I am a big Teen Wolf fan. Uh, um, ever since my, my middle school days. Yeah, so I all that. It is what it is. Yes, sir. Um, but we're gonna do some NASCAR Heat 2 quick races. We're gonna see what Jeffrey has in them. Uh, you get to pick everything. You get to oh, pick no. the track, the series, the driver you want to be. So, so there's no excuses for when you beat me? Uh, I'll give you one <laughs> excuse. I've played it before, and you haven't really that much. So I'll give you that excuse. Right. So we're going to go to split screen. Um, you pick the series. Uh, let's do Monster Energy. That way All I right. can beat myself. Okay. Now I'm going to go with a controversial driver so far. Okay. Uh, let's see if you can understand the joke here. I'm not picking you. Because <laughs> I, don't, I don't want that just be cruel, beating you with you. That just doesn't make sense. So we're going to go with... Cody Ware. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, right <laughs> that's going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we're going to go with him. All right, yeah. I'll uh, pick my stuff. After that, or? Uh, yeah, so I guess you would be right by Dale. And right behind Ty. There we go. All right, you pick the track. Oh, man. <laughs> Um, well, I mean, I just ran Richmond, so I could, I could, uh, I could cheat and say, let's go to Richmond. That's where we race this weekend. Like, that is, go. so we're going yeah, to Richmond? All right. Richmond. So, okay. I, I, don't, I don't know what to pick. Honestly, let, let's go. Make it hard. Make it hard? Yeah. We'll go 100. Right. I think 100's good. 4% race, full damage because we're going to crash. Stability help. Eh, we'll keep that on. <laughs> um, it, won't <laughs> it won't hurt at all. <laughs> And accept. So let's see what we could do. Right. Don't beat me too bad. I'm not. Don't Take worry. <laughs> Don't just gonna get up the field. That's why I have to edit these videos because I'm still a little bit like co I'm coughing for some reason. So whenever I cough, I'm just like edit. Yeah. All right. So here we are, Richmond. We're gonna start the race. I've actually never done a split screen, and neither has he. So this is gonna be very interesting. Top of the yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see what we could do. I'm just gonna let you go here. No, uh, the line I'm running is probably not the line I'll be running this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom or top this weekend? Uh, it's surprisingly, it's, the lines changed a little bit uh, with the different tire compounds we've we've ran. We uh, like we saw uh, this past year. I mean, guys were running all right next to the wall in the in turn one and two. So mm -hmm. it's uh, it's changed a lot, but it's uh, it's still. The fastest line going to be on the bottom. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you made it through. We're, we're here together. It's okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I remember the you days did. where Richmond used to be very bottom heavy. And then oh, yeah. it was last year they went to the top. Yeah. Uh, why is that? What, is, is it just um, the tire compound or is it also um, what they're doing to the track sometimes where they put that yeah, that grip? Part. Yeah. 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 I'd say a little bit of both. And, uh, you know, you're just trying to let your car roll and keep all the momentum you can through the corner. So, uh, you know, in order to do that, you just try and use as little brake as possible and let it free roll as much as you can. So you might run higher up the track, but then, you know, also set you up for a good corner exit, you know, get a bigger straighter run up off and, uh, and that helps. So it's, uh, it's crazy because I never would have thought we'd be running all the way against the wall in turn one too. <laughs> Never, nope. But, you know, we were. <laughs> yeah. When they started moving up there, I was like, are, are, they, are they doing this right? <laughs> now, before race weekend, do you ever like go through your mind um, in practice and be like, all right, where's the line going to be? Even if it's dirty and you can't really run up there now, do you think about setting up your car or telling your crew chief to set up the car to where I want to run uh, the top? Because eventually, like, let's say, Bristol, um, not really this year because the bottom was very, very good, but Bristol usually likes to migrate to the top. Yeah, so do yeah. you try to set up your car to where um, you want it to be good at the top? So you, normally you'll, well, Richmond is a little bit different. Bristol, you can normally get it cleaned off, cleaned off enough to go up there and try it, you know, for a couple laps, like, uh, especially when you got Larson out there. Larson's freaking, 
the Highline King, you know, <laughs> he'll run up against the wall everywhere we go. But, uh, you know, uh, play, a place like Richmond is tough because, you know, it doesn't come in until later and it slowly works itself up to the wall. But, uh, but I mean, you kind of you kind of have an idea of what to what to anticipate your car being like up there. Uh, yeah, you don't know for sure until you actually go try it. But uh, you, you definitely can get uh, an idea of what you think your car is going to do and kind of prep for that. You know. Yeah. So Richmond, it, we have like a lot of long runs. Even though it's stage racing now, um, long run is still possible. Yeah. So when you're in the middle of a run, uh, let's say 20 laps in, does it go through your mind like? I'm, I'm overheating the right rear, whatever I'm doing, I have to save, you know, a little bit, or do you, do you just predict that um, before it ever happens? Because I know a lot of racing is predicting what comes next yeah. uh, when, when it comes to your car. Yeah, I mean, you know, Richmond, you, you, you know, like you said, you'll, you'll have a lot of, a lot of long uh, green flag runs and, you know, you use a lot of brake there. So there's a lot of things that come into play at Richmond that, you know, you gotta kind of Keep in mind when you're when you're racing there to you know try and save your stuff not not to wear it out before the end of the race. Yeah. So uh, speaking of wearing it out, I, I think I'm wearing. <laughs> yeah. Out. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I actually don't know where. I don't want to be beating you though. You no, I'm, I'm gonna come back you to you. Are. I don't know where you are, but I'm coming back. Oh, you good? Nah. I'm. Uh, <laughs> I want to race with you, but um. <laughs> When, I know you've been racing in, in NASCAR for a long time, so what's the difference? Because I've heard a lot of people talk about how the, the equipment's gotten so much better. So when it comes to brakes at a track like Richmond or Martinsville or Bristol, um, do you have to think about saving your brakes as much as you used to? Um, I mean, you do. Uh, I mean, it's just something you kind of keep in your mind. I mean, if you, if you feel the pedal starting to get soft, you might, you know, back your corner up a little bit, you know, try and use a little less brake, you know, take it easier on the equipment. But... Uh, I mean, you know, we're racers, and we push our cars to the limit every lap, and you know, that's uh, that's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to go out there and race as hard as we can, and you know, get all we can out of these cars. So, um, you know, it's tough to, you know, to think, all right, well, I gotta, you know, go in, go in conservation mode, or, or you know, save and save, save, you know, brakes, tires, whatever it is. You know, it's uh, it's tough to to mentally tell yourself that because you know you're constantly just wanting to run a better lap, better lap. Yeah. Uh, now that you even you can even get your lap times now. Yeah. Like, yeah that, cool. that was something you never had before. Yeah, it's cool because you can actually see them on the dash. I mean, you know, before you'd have your spotter calling them out or something like that, but you know now it's like you know it's all right there on your dash. I, I think I've knocked the fence down a hundred times. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I think it's saying a real race. Hope it'll be better than this this weekend. <laughs> so in your NASCAR career, any series, any time, any race, what's basically the craziest moment you've had in a race car? Um, probably the sixth race I ever ran, I flipped. That was oh. interesting. Yeah, it was not a was not a fun ride. Um, I'd say that was probably the craziest. Um, Do you remember what year and what race? Oh, uh, it was a long time ago. It was back when I first started racing on dirt. So. Oh. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was fourteen. Oh my God, flipping in a uh, uh. yeah, fourteen years old flipping a car is it wasn't the wasn't the most fun, <laughs> but uh, it was all right though because I got I got end up getting a better car after that. So <laughs> <laughs> flip the car, get a better one. Yeah, that's what that's what the crew chief wants to hear. Uh, yeah, you beat me. So. Oh man, I feel I feel bad. Yeah. You yeah, you finished on the lead. Hey, you didn't finish last. Oh shoot! <laughs> uh, you're good. You're yeah, good. Yeah, I wasn't last, but you weren't last. That's because I, cause I wrecked everybody. To get the couple couple of spots I got. Just don't do that this weekend. Uh, I, I think trying. you'll make. I think you'll I'm make a lot of enemies that, that yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Especially <laughs> on a, a chase race. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be a or race before the chase race. Oh probably my god! Be a good idea. Well, so when you get into the playoffs, how often do you think about that's a that's a playoff guy behind me? I really don't want to mess with 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 his race because uh, if you do. It, yeah. Problems. I mean, I, I think about it just about every race. I mean, shoot, this past weekend in Darlington, we came in and uh, we took tires, and the leaders were the their three cars in front of me were the, the you know first, second, third place, but we were on new tires and they were on old tires. So I had a much faster car because in Darlington, tires are worth a ton. But uh, you know, it's like I could have r- raced them hard and got back by them to get a lap back, but then you're like, you know, I don't want to go ruin these guys. These guys yeah. are racing for. You know the the stage points so 
you know, you, you, you got to constantly keep that in the back of your head, and you know, especially when it comes, you know, like this weekend for, uh, you know, one of the last few races to try and make it in the chase. You want to make sure you don't ruin those guys' days, and you know, every race from that from now on, you really want to keep in mind that you know, the the more uh, more room you give them, the the more you know, it's going to you know, repay you in the long run. Yeah, so, yeah, definitely. Uh, it de- definitely plays a factor. Hopefully, uh, hopefully I don't drive like I did just now. Cause, uh, <laughs> well, hopefully you do well at Richmond and, uh, yeah. and good for the rest of the season. Yeah. Man. Thank you yeah, so no much problem. for coming yeah. on. Yeah. Guys, Jeffrey Earnhardt. Uh, and remember, he does MMA, so don't mess. Any drivers, yeah. don't don't yeah. mess with him. Uh, like, if any of you drivers are watching this, don't mess <laughs> with Jeffrey at all. I, re- I highly recommend it. Uh, um, so, guys, if you like the video, make sure the like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. Uh, Jeffrey's going to be racing this week at Richmond, so uh, go ahead and watch Richmond this week. should be awesome, and I'll see you guys later. Hope you're having a great day. Peace out. I can't change Even if I try Even if I wanted to And I can't change Even if I try My love, my love, my love, she keeps me warm